What's going on guys? Doing some work on my 89 Toyota Supra. Um, I've just put a Walbro 255 fuel pump in and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to bypass the relay which looks like this which is on your strut tower on the passenger side and this is the resistor. That big blocky one is the relay. We're getting rid of those because the Walbro runs on a 12 volt constant instead of a 9 volt low rpm and 12 volt high rpm so tools you need to need for the job uh, you're gonna need some wire strippers a phillips screwdriver some wire crimps uh, and some wire connectors uh, these are just examples you can need you're probably gonna need four of these two of those maybe three of those and you're gonna need a 12 volt 30 amp relay and you're going to need a inline fuse with the 20 amp fuse. Now, before you start doing any of this, disconnect the negative terminal from your battery because you don't want to short anything out. This, that, and the other, cause any fires. Um, first thing we're going to do is come down here and we're going to remove this plate, just like this. There's three bolts to it. Phillips screwdriver comes right off. Now, I already have my battery located in the back, so I won't have to run a power wire all the way from the front to the back. Um, so anyway, to start off. You're gonna there'll be two plugs over this yellow plug or yellow uh, four four plug over here and two plug over here. Just get rid of that yellow one. You don't need that. So this gray one, this female one, going to the fuel pump. You're going to use this blue and black wire as your hot wire. Now when that goes over to the male connector here, it becomes a red and black wire, which is shown down here. So, first thing you're going to do, find that, disconnect it, and then you're going to take this and you're going to cut it back a little ways so you can expose these two wires and connect them. I didn't leave myself very much room. You might want to leave a little more wire than that uh, to do this. Then, you're going to connect another wire to that red and black wire here, to the male connector, to whatever length you need with a spade connector. And then, you're going to go get this black and red wire that's going to your harness, to your relay. So when you turn the key on, it turns the relay on. And you're going to hook a red wire up to that, or whatever color you want, 14 gauge and run a spade connector to that as well. Next, you're gonna go to your positive side of your battery and get a ground, or get a, get a ground, get a positive feed, 12 volts, going down into the inline fuse with the 20 volt fuse in it, 20 amp fuse, sorry. Um, and then that is gonna come down here and you're gonna connect that with the spade connector as well. Then, fourth wire, what you need is a ground wire black wire I ran it underneath this bolt connected to the black cover or the wood cover sorry and uh, connect that to a spade connector and then you're going to connect them all to this relay Let's see if it'll focus here all right so we got 86 85 30 and 87 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Let's see, they got numbers on the bottom here, so you got 87, 30, 86, 85, that's all you got. <laughs> so you're going to take your male connector here, the wire coming from that is going to go up to port 30, and then the other side of that, the red and black wire, is going to go to port 86 and then the power from your battery the positive side of that is going to hook up to 87 and then your negative is going to hook up to 85 yes 85 not hard to see and that's pretty much all there is to it just gonna come down and connect your mail in into the fitting here like so so you got this wire running from your fuel pump again to port 30 
And then the other side of that, you're going to run to port 86. Your ground is going to 85 to make the circuit and your power wire is going to 87 so that when the relay clicks over it gets a full 12 volts. So I'm going to just put mine right up here <clears throat> and hook it up with the screw in the back of my battery box. Like so. And then my, <clears throat> excuse me, my battery cover fits right over the top of it, snug like that, if you can see. And then I'll, uh, <clears throat> when I go put this access cover back on, I'll drill a hole through it, put like a rubber grommet, and run these wires up through there. And um, the guy online that I saw this from on the super form, he just bent this right here. Just bent it up so the wires wouldn't make contact or get smushed by the metal and ground out or start arcing and causing a fire. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. This is the 12 volt mod. Oh, wait, don't, I don't want to forget. Uh, this relay is going to be on the passenger side on your shock tower, and you're bypassing this. Now mine is underneath my fender. It'll be hard to see as it's dark. I pulled it out because I did a wire tuck in my other video. So this <clears throat> big gray fat plug runs into your that's your relay and all you're doing is you're bypassing you're jumping this and if you look at it like this, you got two going up and two on the bottom. You're going to go to the bottom left and the top right. And there's pictures online. Uh, if you look it up, there's a better shot of it. So top right, bottom left, if you're looking at it like this. Great connector, you just put, jump it with some wires. I taped it up so it wouldn't fall out because it's in my fender here. All tucked away. Nice and pretty. So my engine bay doesn't look all clustered. So anyway, that's all there is to it, guys. Good luck. Let me know.